Why, Lyrinth, my dear, it would be an honor to assist you in any way I can. An honor, yes. Mortal oh, show darling, how good of you to once again grace my fine establishment. And I see that my information proved useful. You, while I have many, many talents, deciphering written codes concocted by fanatical mortals is not among them. Are you sure? You wound me. I thought we were becoming friends. Talk to Gazmod, the Collector. His villain. You owe absolutely nothing, my darling. Lyrinth agreed to cover your cost for this bit of inside information. Isn't she a dear? Oh, don't concern yourself with that, dearest one. I never ask for more than a client can afford. There's no... Go downstairs and rouse the Anchorite. We'll want her with us when we talk to this Collector. Meanwhile, I need to conclude our Was business Was Madam here. Wim helpful? Conclude Grab a drink business. and tell me all about it. How I love the sound of I know that. I said I was going to help with the negotiations, but... Look, I don't want to talk about it. Some things are private, personal. You can't just walk up and demand I tell you my deepest, darkest secrets. When we first met, you asked about my name. Madam Wim gave it to me. I just arrived in Fargrave, and everything before that exact moment was... gone. Just one of Madam Wim's little jokes. Means I'm a recluse, a hermit. Living a life of seclusion behind a mask I can't remove. Because it feels like there's a war raging inside my skull. A war I I've heard of the Collector. As a villa on the west side of the city. I'll finish this and meet you at the Collector's villa. It's on the west side, in a neighborhood that's strictly Daedric. So be where else was I to go? I assumed I awoke in Fargrave for a reason. I Another label assigned by Madam Wim. Stay in her orbit long enough, and you'll collect a dozen appellations. Time to go, little mortals. This mask, it intrigues. It must become a part of Gazmod's collection. Um, friend? Why it don't you talk to the collector? It dares speak. Will it offer the mask to compensate for such insults? It invokes Madame Wim. Wants what belongs to Gazmod and Gazmod alone. I meant no insult by having my mortal speak to you, Collector. We merely seek to borrow a Dagonic Codebreaker. Since you're clearly interested, I'll allow you to examine my mask. No! The Aerox must not leave the gallery. But Gazmod will peer at its mask. This way, mask wearer. Come, little mortal. We must find the Aerox. Perhaps the gallery is beyond that door. The Collector lets slip that they have a codebreaker called the Aerox. We must find it. It appears not all of Gazmon's collection consists of relics. Are you stuck or choosing to remain still? It dares enter our collection. 
Does it not know we see through many eyes? An arboretum? This collection is not at all what I imagined. Collection is as dangerous as it is beautiful. I am Aerox the Mutilator, Terror of the Deadlands. Release me from the few things that walk the Deadlands can hear the name of Aerox, the Mutilator, and not soil themselves. <laughs> Sweet freedom at long last! Aerox owes you for this kind indulgence. You have set Aerox free. Free! Aerox owes you a debt of honor. And Aerox will pay it, no matter how long it takes. Question not this pitiable form, mortal. For within it beats the heart of the terror of the Deadlands. Taken in codes. Easy as ripping the ears off a Bainkin. Aerox is fluent in the many tongues of the Deadlands. No, I have already pledged to honor my debt to you. I with pleasure, mortal. Your pack is perfect, Master. And I found the encoded note. I will work on translating it forthwith. Gazmod sees the intruders. Now we shall demonstrate the power of our collection. Hey, a little help here. Logan Zacharias wants to make me a permanent. Po Thanks. Let's get out of here and return to Madame Wims. Master! Aerox has deciphered the note! Daedric troops from Burning Gyre Keep in the Deadlands are preparing to invade Fargrave. Well done, Rat. Mortal, find out what else the note contains. That Daedrat talks? Did you hear what I said, Mortal Master? Vulcan Osnokvras prepares to send the most fearsome Daedric troops in all the Deadlands to this Nexus city. The destruction will be glorious! It is addressed to some despicable cur named Sister Seldina. Oh, yes, right. <clears throat> troops stand ready at Burning Gyre Keep. Send word when Fargrave's defenses fall, and the invasion will begin. Let us make haste, Master! An excellent idea, mortal. Use the Plaza of Portals to reach the Deadlands. We'll rendezvous at Burning Gyre Keep.
place smells wonderful, Master. What in oblivion like was that? After a great battle. power was just unleashed inside the keep. Hurry, mortals. Bearer's crest. This is not their fortress. Why would that broken sword be here? They chased you out of Hombre once. How many more failures must you endure? see failure, I see opportunity. Let's head to the Riven Cataclyst. I have a legion of incarnates to create. We should lead too. Quickly, mortals, into the portal. Seldina. Twice now, you helped me stop her from harming Fargrave and its people. Thanks for that. I'm not sure why Lyrinth chose us, or what she really cares about in all this. 
But as long as the cult threatens my city, I'll stand by you. Yeah, I heard. I may not remember who I am or where I came from, but I found a purpose in Fargrave. We stopped Saldina's ritual and forced her to retreat to Burning Gyre Keep. There, instead of allowing her to summon Nokroz's promised army, we defeated her incarnate. Now she's on the run, back to her Riven Cataclyst. That and do not forget that Nern is her ultimate target, little mortal. She plans to use Fargrave to sacrifice your realm to Dagon. But Seldina figured out a way to change the very nature of a Daedra. Truly, a question I must ponder. There are few places I can think of to hide such a device. None of them pleasant. And there are the blade bearers to consider. Why was their sword in the keep? For now, are you ready to resume our hunt for the Riven Cataclysm, little mortal? I assumed you'd want time to sample Madame Wynne's delights, or explore the splendors of Fargrave. No, you are not wrong in your summation, but we are not without avenues to explore. Remember, the Blade Bearers are a Dromora clan who forged their own path. They have no allegiance to Mehrun's Dagon, so I find it curious that their crest was found on a broken sword in the keep. The Blade Bearers are nomads. But we should find them in a settlement called Wretched Spire. That's in the Sever region of the Deadlands. We must talk to their kinreeve, Rinkaius. I will... Rinkaius is a kinreeve of the Bladebearers. A clan of nomadic Dromora who bow to no prince. Like the rest of his clan, he is fierce but values honor. You are unlikely to find any of Mehrun's Dagon servants in Wretched Spire. Master. Never heard of him, but I do not trust him. I will watch him closely, Master. Sniff out his intentions. I have a keen sense of smell in this otherwise pathetic form. I do not know. Lord Dagon wasn't in the habit of explaining his commandments. Our work is up. and take us.
last of the fool killers still consorts with mortals. And I see a blade bearer who could use a new perspective. You travel a strange path, Lyrinth. I won't ally with kin such as you. I was not offering an alliance. Mortal, speak to Rinkaius. Tell him about burning Gyre Keep. Mortals in the Deadlands exist only at Merun's Dagon's sufferance. They grovel in his cult, toil as his slaves, or skulk and hide in places such as this, in the hope he will forget about them. No Bladebearer would willingly enter a fortress loyal to Lord Dagon. I'm in search of my clan members who disappeared, however. An audacious plan. Merun's Dagon has swallowed mortal realms before, or at least a portion of them. Such as this settlement you see before you. If Dagon's servants struck down my kin to protect this device, I will punish them. But first, they must be found. My scouts followed rumors to Zynoes's jail and Jin's foundry before they vanished. I will begin there. Jind is a Dramora kin marcher. She studies relics and devices. Zainawaz is Zivali. He studies pain. They are both subordinates of Valkanaz and Ofkroz, who you say you encountered at Burning Gyre Keep. Let's ride. Vika, Drozu, stay vigilant. It's possible our clanmates will return. you to be killed on your way here. Perhaps you are more capable than you appear. Look for strange devices or documents about mortal machines in Jin's foundry. I will, sir. That would be an inefficient use of my time and abilities. Do not expect me to guard you, mortal, but if you die, as mortals are prone to do, I shall inform Lyrinth. At my convenience. I have had few dealings with Kinmarcher Jin, but I have... Reservations about dislike? One must be familiar with something to dislike it. I am unfamiliar with your kind and not especially curious. Your sin comfort is not a concept I give much thought to. I will only wait for a brief period at the ritual site after I complete my own investigations. Search quickly if you wish to compare notes. That Ring Caius doesn't know what to make of you, Master. He seems like the suspicious type. Huh. <laughs> intend to construct this thing.
take you. If you find it, we may learn something. I know that my King Archer will release me, even if I did translate the notes stolen from Sister Saldina. Nakarov thinks he can make his own catalyst. Let them kill me. He'll never match Sister Saldina's brilliance. Ah, Nakarov. To undermine the mortal Sandin. Two factions vying for Lord Dagon's favor. Let us hope for rivers of blood. Slice your mortals have too many expressions. Your face tells me nothing. Did you find for what purpose? Prince Dagon commanded Valknaz Novkroz and his subordinates to assist the mortals of his waking flame cult. 
This reeks of mortal lies and trickery. Mortals do not enslave kin. And yet... I found signs left by my blade bearers. Yes. Kin are not to be used by mortals. The very thought offends me. You are not a blade bearer. You have no means to perceive the secret symbols of my kin. We are of oblivion, made of its substance. We are blade bearers. All the kin of my clan are packed bound one to another. The clan pact shapes us. It defines our essential nature. We will investigate the Zivilize, I know us. I will meet you there, if you survive the journey. Yeah!